Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, we've got some kind of cool we're going to show this week. We talked a little bit about it last week and that is uh, the super glue on the wood and why we do it. Uh, so we're going to explain that. It's actually to harden the wood. You're going to get to see us do it. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, we've got a bunch of other things going on as well. We're going to demold that quilted maple pour. We're going to do some debarking. Um, and just continuing on those Marriott tables as well, you're going to get to see us uh, kind of take those up to the stage where they're ready to get finished on them. Uh, and then one thing I wanted to mention before we jumped into this video, uh, with everything going on, obviously with the coronavirus, we can't teach our courses anymore, which is a big bummer for us because teaching courses is one of our favorite things to do. So what we've been focusing on is actually creating online versions of our courses and we've already created our beginner epoxy class, so it's like exactly the same as what we actually teach here in-house. It's all the same projects. I give you all the guys all the same information uh, and it's pretty cheap. It's only $29.99 Canadian which is like 21 bucks US so it's not too bad at all. Uh, so we'll put a link for that down in the description and let us know what kind of webinars you want to see coming up in the future. But I hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Okay so here is our half log table. Uh, this is another one of the pieces we're doing for the Marriott. If you look at the end of this uh, it looks like it's really really thick but the, there's actually two slabs. So we got our top slab there and our second slab on the bottom. And the bottom slab's actually all hollowed out in the middle, so it's just the perimeter that we've actually put wood on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like my hand can go right up in there. So that's actually where our legs are gonna mount. And we did that just so it's not so crazy heavy, but it's still pretty heavy. Um, and down on this end, it looks pretty cool. They wanted kind of like this half log appearance. So on this end, there's quite a bit of live edge, like directly on the end of the table, which looks quite nice. And then John had to do a bunch of very precise cutting to get this all to match. Um, but now we're just working on doing all the fills in the top. So we'll kind of show you guys a bit of that process. And then we have to do a big fill right in this here. So we'll use our deep pour epoxy for that one. for the Marriott in half and then we're going to be dominoing it back together. I know it may have pained you guys a lot to see us go and cut that big beautiful table in half, 
Uh, but the reason we had to do it is actually so that it could fit in the freight elevator of the hotel it's going to. This table's going to be on the second floor in one of the Marriott's in Portland. So the option was either have to take a window out and crane this thing up or we build it in two pieces and then have it reattached on site. And you can actually see the seam is almost unnoticeable. It still is a little sad, but this we have to do this sometimes for the corporate clients. Now we're starting to work on those two maple tables uh, for the Marriott. We actually poured these like almost a month ago or something. You guys might remember that. Uh, we were waiting to get confirmation back from the Marriott on their base design, but now we're ready to keep moving forward on them. So the boys are getting ready to <laughs> soak everything with super glue. Um, the reason we're soaking it all with super glue is actually to harden up the wood. Like these slabs are very rotten and very decayed. So when we put the super glue on, it's just going to make it not mark quite as easily. So we'll kind of show you guys that whole process here. And then we have to sand them, cut hole pockets, machine in, uh, power integration. There's a whole bunch left to do on these. wanky door over here. My next process is going to be to cut the slots in the door every 381 millimeters uh, to fit ourselves a nice uh, copper inlay here. As you can see I did a number of test cuts here for the copper to lay in there and need just a little bit of wiggle room. slab today. Um, it's going to be for a table for a client coming up. So let's give her. And the reason we trim all the ends off is just so when we go to flatten it on our CNC, uh, it's just slightly oversized and we can get a maximum thickness out of it. If you were to leave your slab a little bit big, uh, oftentimes like some of the corners are warped or kicked up and if you have to flatten those all the way down then your whole slab ends up thinner. So we just cut off basically as much as we can and our, you know, we don't get to really pick and choose our material because we buy by the tree. Like when we buy uh, wood, we're salvaging an entire log. Like so usually what happens is an arborist will contact us, they'll let us know a tree is coming down. Uh, usually it's because the tree's sick or let's say there's some kind of construction it's coming down for, something like that. And instead of it getting burned, we have the opportunity to buy the whole thing. So that means we get the good parts of the trees and the bad parts of the trees. Another question we get all the time is can you leave the bark on your tables uh, slash why do you guys take the bark off your tables uh, the quick answer is no you can't leave the bark on and the reason is is because if you were to leave the bark on and do an epoxy pour uh, the epoxy is going to be bonding to the bark and then the only thing holding it all together is actually uh, that bond between the bark and the live edge slab itself and that is very weak uh, we actually had this kind of a funny story that happened when I did one of my first pours I left the bark on because I thought it would look cool uh, so I did the pour it cured everything looked really good uh, then I stuck the piece in the planer and it went in as one piece and it came out as three I had this chunk of resin with bark stuck to it in two slabs so that's how I learned you definitely need to take the bark off
All right, so we got this uh, quilted maple table that you just saw us demold. This is the one we poured last week. Uh, we've already flattened off the top side, and we get a lot of questions about how exactly we remove that excess. Uh, so it's with our CNC machine. We just got like it's basically a big router that's controlled by a computer, and we're gonna flip it over now and clean off the bottom. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Uh, it's a pretty busy week. We had a lot of different things going on, uh, and I hope you guys learned something too with that super glue. Because, like I said earlier, there was a ton of comments about that. Uh, next week, we're going to be picking our tables up uh, for the Marriott from our finisher. So you're going to get to see those maple burl tables with uh, those final coats of finish on them. And we're also going to be assembling the legs on the full scent table for the Nelk boys. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.